Let's get you up to speed now on the stories you need to know to start your morning. Good news for Maricopa County attorney Alistair Adele. Her medical condition is, a, is improving. Adele was hospitalized earlier this month after she fell and hit her head. Doctors say they recently removed a blood clot that was putting pressure on her brain. We're told though Adele is responding well to her treatment. She's alert and communicating with her family and medical team. And right now parts of California are under a statewide curfew. It applies to all non-essential work and gatherings, which means if you plan on spending your Thanksgiving there, you may not be allowed out and about past 10 o'clock. The curfew will continue until at least December 21st. Well, more than two weeks after Election Day, the Associated Press has officially projected Joe Biden as the winner in Georgia. Several networks called Georgia for Biden days ago, but the AP waited until a hand tallied audit was finished there. Nearly five million votes were counted by hand. Georgia's Secretary of State says the audit upheld and reaffirmed that the state's original count was right. Candidates have until Tuesday to request an official recount. Well, two Hispanic congressmen from Arizona are among potential candidates for Biden's cabinet. NBC News says the president-elect could tap Raul Grijalva and Ruben Gallego. Both Grijalva and Gallego were re-elected in November for another term. Grijalva has served Arizona's third congressional district since 2003. Gallego has been serving Arizona's seventh congressional district since 2015. And now you're up to speed. Don't forget, you can always find the latest news on our website, 12news.com or the free 12 News app.